What's weird with that, Maisie and Nathan? You'll see them soon enough, I promise you. I'll look after you while they're gone. <laughs> and I feel so much safer now you're home, I can tell you that. I'll call you when supper's ready, all right? You took your time. What the hell do you think you're doing? It's funny, I was going to ask you exactly the same question. First you blame Ryan and now Mum. You just get worse. Is there anything stupid, please? Like what? Like give you what you deserve. You wouldn't, would you? me. Maisie, just please untie me. Please, then we can talk about this. Oh, so you can lie to me some more. Tell me my mother's a murderer. You're insane. So I lied in court. Oh, at last! At last he admits it. No, it was an easy choice. It was either Ryan or Mum. No. The choice was between Ryan and you. OK. Tell me what you'd have done. Tell me what would you have chosen, Maisie? If I was Dad, I'd choose life. <laughs> and if I was Ryan, I'd choose freedom. But since it's me... Mm. Nice drop, this. Very smooth. Look charming as I find your company. How's your Nathan doing? Fine, thank you. You sure? Why wouldn't I be? I just wonder. And what about Maisie? You seen much of her lately? Could you just get out of my house, please? Only I've got some news about the prodigal, but you said he's doing fine, so I'll leave you be. But what are you getting at? Well, <clears throat> it's just... When I last saw the pair of them, they were having a right old ding-dong about who framed Ryan. You're a sad joke, Kane. Get out. He's actually been staring at me the last few days, your lad. See, this, uh text he sent you... ...wasn't his thumbs doing the talking. What have you done? When you come find out. What, leave Will upstairs? I don't think oh, so. Oh, come on, bring him along for the ride. Right, that's it. I'm going to call the police. Fine, you do that. More the merrier. Okay. Hi, mate. How are you doing? Will, I want you to go upstairs, take your mobile, lock the door, and do not answer unless it's me. Mum? What is your mum like, eh? Worry, worry, worry. Look, I just came round to see if you fancy a little drive out. What now? Upstairs, please. No way. What, I'll miss out on all the fun? You can't leave him in the big scary house all on his own, can you? I'm not staying here. Well, it looks like coming with us then, doesn't it? You hurt my children, Kane. I swear. Where are we going? Magical mystery tour, kid. Isn't that right, Mum? Charming spot. And remote. Well, you know what they say. In space, no one can hear you scream. If this is your idea of a joke. I'm convulsed. Believe me, not many laughs going on in there. Ah! Help! You get back in the car. Now, get in, lock it, and you stay put. Macy! Help me! Stop it! He killed Dad. You know that, don't you? Macy, please, you just got to put that thing down. Please! It wasn't Ryan, it was him! I had to tell her what you'd done, because she was going to kill me. Oh, he's a liar. He always has been. Lizzie, please put it down. It's what he deserved. It wasn't me. Look, I don't blame you for covering for him. He's always been good at getting what he wants. Well, he won't get away with this one, not now. Please, Maisie, stop. Look, you're going to have to tell the police what happened. And I, I know you'll get into trouble, but just tell them he scared you. Tell them he attacked you the way that he attacked Faye, and then they'll have to let Ryan go. But it wasn't me. Tell her. 
As if you'd hurt Dad. Would you? You loved him. And you, you couldn't stop crying when, you, when they found him. Could you? I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. Nathan didn't kill your father. I did. <laughs> you know. Stop lying for him, please. I'm not. Look, I know he's always been your favourite. But if you, if you don't go to the courts and make him pay for this, then I will. Oh, Macy, listen to me. You have to listen to me, please. I took your father's gun from him. He walked away from me, and I pulled the trigger. You hear me? Did you hear what I said to you? Mom? <laughs> oh, God, Will. Oh, God. I never thought you had it in you. Respect. Why? Why do you think? He treated her like a fool one too many times with Faye. Will, please go outside. No. Kane, please. He deserves the truth, don't you think? Answer me! Why? I didn't know your father was planning to run away with Faye, okay? I found out the same afternoon. <laughs> you found out about right. <laughs> Say it. Like, Will's here. Say it. Uh, I fell in love with my own brother. <laughs> well, everything seemed to unravel after that. So it was my fault? No! You executed him for me! No, darling, listen to me! I came home, and he disappeared. Taking a shotgun, he left a note. And I found him in the wood. Don't you try and pretend he killed himself. <laughs> no, he's too much of a coward, even for that. And then all of a sudden, it was like nothing had happened. He just assumed we'd all carry on as usual, and something inside me just... <laughs> <laughs> I'm lying there, it's so still. And I walked around to speak to him, and I just said, Come on, stand up, please. Please, baby, please stand up. I'm sorry. buried him on your own. Nathan must have helped you. The ground was rock hard. It took me all night. And I could feel his eyes on me the whole time. You left him on his own. In the woods on his own. I was scared. I panicked. I didn't want to lose my Family that kills together, stays together. Will, I'm sorry. I know I've done something terrible. It doesn't mean I love you any less. I don't want you to love me. I want my dad back. What, do you think you're the only one? You told him you hated him often enough. Yeah, but I didn't want him dead. So why did you lie about Ryan? My cover up for what she did. I forced him to keep quiet. Because that's what Dad would have wanted. Because you knew Dad loved Ryan more. Because Ryan's everything you're not. The son he always wanted. Ten times the man you'll ever be. Dude.
tears. They were for dad, were they? They were for all of us. Believe me. How could you... How could you say you loved someone? And kill... Kill them? You know, we could go away, all of us, far away from here. And leave Ryan to rot? Makes sense. We could go tonight. You're sick. Me sick. Me! Your father lied to me from the moment we met and through our entire marriage. And then when I first found out about Faye, I forgave him. And then behind my back and yours, he was planning to run away and just dump us. All of us! So don't you judge me. That's up to the police. Not me. You know, we could be on a plane in hours, anywhere you want. Start again, and I'll make amends, I promise you. <laughs> You keep quiet. And I walk out of here a free woman. Or you use this. And it all comes crashing down. She's right, Maisie. How could you? Police. Yes. It's an emergency. Mum, you know it's not too late to run away. Trust me, it is. Look, none of this would stand up in court. Just say that Cain forced you to confess. Say that you thought he was going to kill me. Your word against mine, kid. Cain who? I'll tell them I brought you here. I hit you. Um, please just go. Please. Please. You do realize you're sending me to prison, don't you? Why did you make me do it? Made my choice. I have to live with it. So do you. I had to. And all those years of love, they count for nothing, do they? Always wear your daddy's girl. You know, whatever they tell you, I still love you very much. Time to go, don't you think? Take care of them. Um, please. You don't have to do this. Yes, I do. Thank you.